somewhat unconventionally, I want to show you some pictures. Now straight away you're probably noticing that there's something a little bit different about these. There's that kind of softness to them around the edges, but it's not quite an ordinary shallow depth of field shot, is it? There's something more to it. It's almost like a zoom blur effect. That's what you get when you open the shutter and zoom the lens at the same time. But it's not a zoom blur effect and nor is it done in the computer. But it really does channel your attention to a specific area of the picture, doesn't it? So if it's not done in the computer, what is it? It lives in this lovely little soft pouch here. Now I don't often like to go on about specific gadgets or pieces of kit, but in the case of this, I do want to show you my Lens baby. All those images were shot with this lens baby and all of that effect is achieved in camera at the time of shooting by shooting on this really, really simple but completely brilliant little piece of kit. So what makes the lens baby so special? On an ordinary lens, you focus front to back, don't you? So you kind of like have your piece of focus and you move it out and back in again and it expands as you go further away much the same as it does on the lens baby. When you use a wide aperture and a longer lens, you can get that shallow depth of field. So you can concentrate the viewer's attention on a specific piece of the picture in a specific sort of plane of depth somewhere within the picture. Where the lens baby gets a bit special is you can not only concentrate the viewer's attention going in this direction, but you can also concentrate the viewer's attention onto a specific spot around the picture. And that is because not only does the lens baby have a focusing ring, just like this, which focuses back to front, you can also move the front element of the lens around like this, so that you can roll a specific point of sharpness around within your picture. How cool is that? This particular model is called the Lens Baby Composer. Now, Lens Babies, there are various different types of Lens Baby. One's called a Muse, I think, and there's another one which I can't for the life of me remember what it's called. They're all very, very similar in how they work. My Composer has a little locking ring here, which I can unlock like that, so that when I take my shot, I can be looking through the camera and rotate the front element around and adjust the focus back and forth. And then when I know it's in the right place, I can just lock it so that I know it's locked off and it's in the right place. Whoop, I'll just knock the lens cap off the back. And therefore the shot won't move. Lens babies also come with what's called interchangeable optics. Go and have a look at their website. There's a huge amount, huge range of things you can put in there. The optic is kind of, if you can see in the end here, there's like a little green line going around there. The optic is like a little plastic cup which has an optic in it. This one comes with what they call their double glass optic, which is probably one of the best quality ones. But they also make plastic optics. They make optics which give you chromatic aberration and they all kind of give your images a different type of a look. Um, on top of that, you can get a macro optic for going real, real close ups or a long lens adapter type optic or a wide angle one. This one is a 50 mil double glass optic. So it gives me a natural looking perspective as in 50 mil is pretty much how we see the world but it has this beautiful, interesting effect which I can move around all over the place. 